Alright guys, so the brand new jailbreak update has just released and I'm going to show you guys all of the best secrets or small changes in the brand new update that I bet not a lot of people actually noticed. So yeah, let's not waste any more time and let's get into this. First of all though, there is a cop here. I'm going to have to punch him out real quick. Never mind. Anyways, for this first change here, I actually have to come over here to the gun store and grab some guns because in this update, they have actually improved the reload times for all of the weapons in the game. So if I go ahead and pull out my revolver here, for example, and I start holding R, like spamming it, you guys could see that it's a lot faster than before. And if you use the revolver before this update, you'd probably know that the revolver obviously didn't reload this fast before the update, and they've completely changed how the reloading system actually works in terms of how fast it is. And actually, before I explain that, I should probably move over here to the mountains quickly because there's a lot of cops there in the town, and I don't really want to get arrested right now. But basically, how reloading worked before this update is it would rely on the reloading system sound of your gun so the reload speed would be the exact same speed as the reload sound but now in this update they have made it so that the reload speed relies on the circle that goes around your crosshair here you guys can see that the reload finishes right as the crosshair circle there finishes as well and well that's what causes the reload speeds to be quicker because those reload circles aren't actually completely accurate so you know it obviously makes it a lot quicker now i'm not really too sure why they did this because honestly the fast reload times are not really that good for the game especially with weapons like the revolver being able to do an easy 25 damage like consistently like that isn't really too good i don't think and yeah it's not just the revolver that had this update a bunch of the other guns also have really fast reloading now especially the pistol here you guys could see it's also really really fast if i go ahead and shoot a rocket here you guys could see that's also really fast now we got the shotgun reloading that's really fast now as well honestly this is really really weird how fast this reload stuff is as i said they should probably increase the speed to how long it should actually be because being able to reload your gun instantly isn't really too good for the combat and uh yeah that's that on to the next thing here and actually the best part about this thing is it's literally right here and well it's right behind the dog store yeah you, you could probably guess what happened we got some yellow snow here and there's a dog store right over there i don't think i need to explain this anymore and well if i do then well you need to stop grinding that hyper piss level five because honestly then you're just gonna end up like this and yeah if you yeah just basically don't end up like this or yeah everyone's gonna know you're just a no life hyper piss level five grinder and uh yeah yeah i don't know you could tell that the more i reuse that joke <laughs> the weirder it gets but now this next thing here actually involves the boat revamp that happened in this update and well it's 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 kind of weird man but first of all here i see a crate on the ground i'm taking this thing real quickly anyways uh i need to go ahead and grab the sloop over here because what you guys are about to see is uh, really really confusing and it just makes me question jailbreak even less than i did before Alright, so as you guys can see here, this is the sloop. I just picked it up with my heli rope here, and well, you guys can probably already see what's wrong with this. If I, if I fling it into a mountain here, uh, uh, okay, now it's not working. Hold on, give me a sec. Alright, so if I go ahead and fling it into this uh, tower here, um, uh, never mind. Alright, there it goes. Uh, you guys can probably see what's wrong with the sloop. It has no collisions anymore, except for on the bottom. And, well, that that kind of allows things like this to happen. Sloop, are you okay, man? I'm not really too sure anymore. It kind of looks like just a huge boat slapped upside down here with, like, nothing inside it. Because if you didn't... Okay, well, now it's gone. Never mind. But, uh, yeah, you guys get the point here. The sloop has some really weird collisions now. In fact, it probably has no collisions at all. If I go ahead and pick another one up here, you guys could see that once I do pick it up... Yeah, it, it, it goes right into the mountain, man. I'm not really too sure if that's normal. Nothing in Jailbreak is normal anymore, man, so I'm just not going to question it, as I said. But, uh, yeah, I don't really know what else to do with the sloop now, so I'm probably just going to drop it here on the museum for some random noob to find and think it's just normal. Anyways, this next thing here is quite a small one. I don't think a lot of you guys care, but I think I might as well mention it anyways because it might annoy a few people out there that don't yet know about this. And, well, you guys could 
probably assume where I'm going with this, seeing as it's a new feature in the update. It's the intro location markers here in the settings. You guys can see across the map there are now gun store icons. These are a feature in the new update that allow new players to see where actual like gun stores are on the map, not just like assume where they are based on the targets that they have outside them. Because you know, if this update didn't include these new markers, like uh, you know, some new players might think that the gas station over here is a gun store so you know it's probably best that they add this now but anyways let's get to the point here uh basically when you try to disable these in settings they don't actually save i'm not gonna rejoin and show you guys this because i don't really want to lose all my stuff but you can test this if you want for yourself basically if you disable this it won't actually save and it'll keep turning itself back on over and over again obviously it will save while you're in the server but once you leave and rejoin it will be reset back to enabled and uh yeah so me disabling it pretty much does nothing so uh yeah that's absolutely helpful thank you asimo for adding that option but anyways now that we're over here in the new part of the map i'm only calling it new because it's literally the only significant map expansion we've had in the entirety of jailbreak's history and i don't really know what else to call it here on the roof of the mansion you guys could see that there's actually snow on it and the thing about this snow is this is the only building in the entire game that has snow on the roof if we go over here to the town you guys can see that none of these roofs have snow on it if we go over here to the crater city over here at the casino you guys can see that the casino does not have snow on it and from over here you guys could already see that there is no snow on any of these buildings either so yeah the mansion over here is the only building in the entire game that actually has snow on it and i believe that's the only time in jailbreak history that a building has actually had snow on top of it I'm not really too sure of that though but um yeah from what i know this is the only building with snow on it because when i've played the game over the last like seven years i haven't seen snow on any of the buildings but uh yeah if you don't know what else to do in this update uh well i, I don't know what to tell you just go check out the snow on top of the mansion yeah it it's pretty cool and now the final thing that has gone pretty much unnoticed in this new update is the sound of the wind has actually changed it's a brand new sound and the wind actually sounds a lot better now i got to say the old sound was pretty lame i'm gonna be honest this is just one of those things that you've got to pay attention to in order to notice and well that's pretty much my entire like job with this game i kind of have to notice these small details and well if you're not like me and you don't really pay attention to these details then this is probably something you didn't notice but you know new new uh, new wind sounds they're, they're pretty cool right but i'm already calling it you guys are gonna call me crazy down below in the comments because you guys didn't notice anything new with the wind sounds in this update and it's literally only me being dumb and thinking that the wind sounds changed so yeah, if you call me that down below in the comments, then, well, I'm going to have to diagnose you with a hyper piss level 5 addiction. So, uh, yeah, I don't know what else to tell you. That's pretty much all the secrets in the brand new uh, jailbreak update that you totally didn't notice if you're, uh, like, someone that uh, isn't me. I don't know. So, uh, yeah, other than that, that's pretty much it for this video. Hopefully you've all enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next one.